Merry Christmas, my eyes bad party people. Coach Anderson here, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing these very tropical looking glasses during Christmas, it's because I live in Florida and it's still burning and scorching hot like hell in here. So with that said, let's go ahead and still keep the math party going as always, and have ourselves a merry, merry Christmas. So this question seems pretty short, right? But questions like this can be pretty dangerous because at the end of the day, you've got to make sure that you know what the problem's asking you to figure out and how to process the information therein. So let's go ahead and make sure we do this the right way here. So first of all, right over here, it says if there are blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about that. Start with the goal. I don't care how short the question is, you need to know what the goal is. The information that's given to you is only there to try to overwhelm you if you don't know what it's about. So right from the get-go, how many males are there? That's all we want to know. Boom. So step one, what do we want is how many males. So I'll just say blank males. And so here's another thing you want to do in this first step really quick. Whenever the question starts off with if or includes the word if in it, what they're doing is they're connecting that information to the goal for you. They're actually laying it out for you. They're saying that there is a direct connection between what we're giving you and what we're asking you to find. So notice how in this question sentence you're told, hey, if, right here, there are 165 females. So again, they are basically screaming at you that there's a connection, a relationship between females and males in this particular question. So booyah. So we say blank males with or correlating to or related to or with or equals, whatever it is. Just make sure you, you establish some sort of connection. doesn't matter how you do it. But I'll say blank males with 165 females. So this is where your ASVAB experience really comes into play because with some, some experience, you're going to be able to look at a problem like this and say, hey, they're asking me for males. They give me females. And then in the first sentence, if you take a look over here, what do you notice? I notice that they tell me at a library, there are four males for every 15 females. So it looks like twice already they compare males to females. This is an automatic bomb drop of proportions. This is a proportions work problem because again, with proportions, the main idea is comparing the same things in the same way. Take a second to write that down. Compare the same things in the same way. That's how you know you're dealing with a proportion. And so with that said, my part of people right over here, booyah. It says four males, so I'll write that right under males. I'm gonna write males first, because I have males first up here. For every 15 females. So this is a this is undoubtedly a proportion problem. Because again, you're comparing the same things, males and females, in the same way. Males to females, males to females, not females to males and males to females, not backwards, the same exact way. Because once you have the same things compared in the same way, that's where the beauty happens. This is where you can set up your proportion, solve it, and you're good. And I'm going to show you some mental math tricks to get this done the right way. And also, before I continue, I want to make sure you know how to practice your mental math because calculating very quickly on the test gives you more time for that next problem. So if you take a look at the screen behind me, what you're going to see is I'm going to show you how to practice the math basics so you can practice your calculation skills super, super easy. So if you're in the program, my ASVAB All Access program, when you sign into the website, I just released our Math Basics Progress Book with the brand new Math Basics course. So if you take a look right over here, you'll have your Math Basics dashboard on how to use it, all that good stuff, nice and easy. But you'll just want to scroll down and you'll want to practice your ability to multiply and divide numbers. And so what you'll do is you'll go ahead and go right over here into whole numbers practice. And you can go ahead and go to multiplying integers, and you can watch video lessons, worksheets, guided practice videos, all of it, all of it, all of it. Just like this. Right behind me, it pops right up. And you get to practice your calculation skills and speed drills to make sure that you're ready to go all the way. So if you like the way that sounds, if you're in my program, log in, get started, watch that video, and hop to it. And if you're not, feel free to reach out to me. My phone number is 567-698-8867. I would love for you to go ahead and reach out to me if you have any questions at all. So again, my phone number right over here is 567-698, right there, 8867. 
And you can go ahead and text me to learn more about my ASVAB All Access program that thousands of my students have used to raise their scores and get the jobs they want, guaranteed. So with that said, again, reach out to me if you have any questions on that, but let's get to the solution here and show you some of that calculation. So here I'm gonna go ahead and set it up with M over 165, because I'm comparing males to females. And then on the right side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and write four over 15. Because again, that's four for males, 15 for females. Compare the same things in the same way. You could even go males to males, M over four, 165 over 15. That would work out just fine too, just fine. But here's the beauty of what I'm gonna show you. Here's the mental math trick that I really wanna make sure you understand before you continue. Because really when you look at this, a lot of us think, hey, let's just go ahead and cross multiply and divide, right? That's the main way that we've been taught to do this. But the fact of the matter is, you can actually simplify before you do that cross multiplication. Here's how. If I take a look here, I'm saying, okay, I don't wanna do 165 times four because that's gonna be a big number. Then I gotta divide the whole thing by 15. Huh, that's gonna be a lot. What I can realize is this, 165 and 15, they're both in either denominator. And remember this trick about equations. It's not even a trick, it's just a rule. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. One more time. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So with that said, if I look at each denominator, and each of those denominators are divisible by five, which they are, I can divide both of the denominators by five to give myself an easier time. And actually, I can divide both of these denominators by 15, because I know that 165 literally is just 150 plus another 15, and that's 165. So since I know that, that right here, that's 15 times 10, that's 15 times one, so this is 15 times 11. This is happening in my head. Because if I know that and I point that out, I don't have to spend all this time doing all this when I can simply do this. I can divide both denominators by 15 and look at the beauty here. I now have M over 165 divided by 15 is 11 equals four over 15 divided by 15 and that will be one. Look at that. I've simplified before I multiplied because now what's gonna happen is when I cross multiply, M times one is M, 11 times four is 44, and we're done. The number of males equals 44. And that's how we do it, my party people. That's how we do it. So with that said, if you learned something new here, my party people, I wanna make sure that you express it. Feel free to go ahead and drop a comment on this video and make sure to like it too. That way I know how these videos are affecting you. It always makes me feel good knowing that these videos are helping you succeed. So do me that favor, let us know, shout us out, and then keep moving forward to the next one. That way you can keep learning at the end of the day. And as always, if you have any ASVAB questions or need ASVAB help, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I got your back. My phone number again is 567-698-8867. Feel free to text me and I'll reply as soon as I can. Let's ace the ASVAB and I'll see you in the next video.